in New York City. Hi, this is my brother. How many buses have we missed today? At least two. No, three. Good morning and welcome back to another vlog. So the plan for today was to basically go out with family and go to New York City and pretend to be like a tourist for the day basically. So we get on a big bus and tour Manhattan with our family, round everybody up and just have fun. But I think we didn't take into account that it was Memorial Weekend and everybody and their mama was in that city. Like, I had never seen the place so packed in my life. And because there were so many people, there were so many delays, schedule changes. And so the day took a very interesting turn. And my family and I are actually from New York City, so we know it well. But we had never spent that much time in, like, Manhattan. So we were just supposed to be, like, sightseeing, taking pictures. And so we basically got all of the cousins and everyone to do this with us and so we were like pretty much ready to take on the day we woke up at like 5 a.m it was like a very long day ahead of us guys sit around and of course the first thing we got was coffee i spent like 31 dollars at starbucks and that is the most i've ever spent and i was of some duress and they didn't even spell my name right apparently i'm isabella in new york city hi this is my brother sebastian where are you going this video oh, okay. oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. how many buses have we missed today at least two no three we missed the eight o'clock bus the 8 31 right. and the nine o'clock right. technically we didn't miss it because no, actually we, 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 we got the right at a certain one. time, and then they weren't. Clearly, they were. so they're Haitian. We're Samian. So basically, after waiting literally an hour and a half in the morning, we finally secured a bus. It took forever though, and then we started off on our morning commute through like the beginning of Manhattan and stuff. Mm -hmm. so much going on and it was very very hot that today this day like I was I was burning in the sun and then I liked how we spent, went past like the sea area Manhattan. they tried showing us Statue of Liberty but you can't see anything from the, the viewpoint we were at you couldn't see anything because there were so many trees in the way This is really pretty. And then we got to like Times Square and that's where things really took a turn for the worst because they made us get off our bus to get on another bus but the other bus wasn't there and the line was hours long. Every tourist you could imagine was there and we were in that line for about two hours. I'm not even joking. Harry, um, I love you. Guys, stream Harry's album. That's a threat. Okay. So yeah, we were in that line for a really long time and we were exhausted and hungry and tired because we'd woken up at 7 a.m. And we were two hours behind schedule. So things took forever. 
And finally, after six buses, we finally got another bus. And it was so late by then, we were all tired and just exhausted from the day already. Already over with it. We were in traffic for a long time because, of course, it's Memorial Weekend. But I mean, the, the city is pretty, so that made up for a lot of things. It's so, like, pretty if you just sit there and look at it. Empire State Building. Olivia Rodrigo, I love you. Madison Square Garden. ended up in Times Square at some point it was so chaotic and messy and so many people like I always know New York City has millions of people but when you actually get to see millions of people you're like what is going on there's so much going on I really wanted to go shopping too but that's for another time and it was like really really hot so that was that also didn't help Angelina well this is the same as Angelina Anyway, but yeah, even when we were in that two hour line, we were being shaken down by homeless people, which was kind of scary and sad at the same time. But that's New York, I guess. And I think we were all just tired. Like everyone was sleeping on the second bus. Nobody was paying attention. We were all just like, can we please get home? And I didn't realize that they keep the ball up there. Did anybody else know that? I just, I didn't know that. And so yeah, by the time it was like two o'clock, 2.30, we were walking. And here I asked my sister for the rating, you can't hear her very well, but I asked her and she said it was a 0 out of 5 star experience, per um, Top view, do not use that bus. My little sister said nothing because she was that fed up and everybody else was just like, I'm over it. So we all just basically ended the day, went our separate ways and we said goodbye to each other. And yeah, this is actually a little video, I finally caught video of it. But even though the lines were long and awful, we still got to spend time with each other, which is something that we don't get to do often. And this video makes me laugh so hard because they're just so different in their way of doing numbers. Like, do you see this chaotic mess? Oh my gosh. And then we headed back on the road and there was more traffic, of course, because what is New York without traffic? But despite the long hot day, I did have fun with my family, so I was really happy at the end of it. Thank you guys for so much for watching this vlog. Come back for more and subscribe. Bye!